Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sofia and today it's a much better day because last episode it seems like it was cursed or something. Even the quality of the episode was different. This one looks like it used to be before that one. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, but I am glad everything went back to normal, no no bugs, no glitches, and the quality is much better. Jim is now going to work. At first I was like, please don't happen. <laughs> what happened in the last part towards the end uh, of the last episode? But no, he took a different path to the Sparkling Sands beach, but he is here now. And I want him to collect those, it looks like rocks, but you can actually, with some of them, you can actually um, get a gem cut. It's a bit different from The Sims 4 Crystal Creations, but I want for Jim to collect them. He can sell them, or as I, I told you, he can get a gem cut. We will see about that later on. So far, ah, it's actually the tiny space rock. It, it's not worth a lot of money, but I think they are cool. Also, since it's fall, Jim will light the fire next to uh, that area. And he, we hope that brings Sims to the area. Because the beach is pretty much empty. And we need Sims for Jim to complete his lifetime wish. And also, as you can see, Jim is still in his houseboat. I have something to share with you later on the episode. And I hope you can help me decide what I should do next with Jim. If he should move to a different area or not. And whoa, <laughs> the fog is setting. Like when he got here, there was no fog. Like everything was fine. And now all of the sudden I started to see like it seems like smoke at first. And I thought it was from the fire. But no, it's actually fog. And he can talk about the fog with the other sims. Because now, yes, now there are more sims here. Some are playing in the water. There's a sim that al already needs help. So Jim will give that sim CPR. And I need to keep an eye on the water, since there are other sims there. And, like, the mermaid, it's fine. They don't drown or anything like that. <laughs> they actually swim very far away. It's one of the features that they have. But the other ones can be in trouble. So I need to, to make sure that no one else in it is in trouble. That sim said, thank you for saving my life. So now Jim will talk with that sim for a little bit. Or no. <laughs> There's another one in the sand that also needs help. There's also a lady that is so far away from the sand area that I, keep, I need to keep an eye on her to see if later on she needs Jim's help or not. But so far so good, no one in the water needs help, it's just the ones on the sand. And there's another mermaid uh, chilling in sparkling sands. I don't know why, but they seem to love this area a lot. And at night, sometimes you can see them swimming around Jim's house. This one said, you saved me, how can I repay you? Just be careful. <laughs> Just be careful so Jim can do his work. <laughs> Uh, Jim will talk with that sim for a little bit. Like I thought in other episodes they already met. But maybe their relationship was not the great. And they lost the relationship. In Sims 3 it keeps happening. Sometimes I get notifications and I am like what's going on? <laughs> what did Jim do? And... Uh, it's not nothing bad, it's just that uh, they lost connection with other sims. I don't think in The Sims 4 this happens that often. 
but in here it happens almost every day. Like Jim talks to so many sims on the daily basis. Sometimes the relationship improves very fast, sometimes not. And when it's the relationship is not that great, it disappears after a while and you get the notification. But so far so good. The mermaid is now on the water and there's another lady arriving at the area. But so far so good. Nothing too crazy, nothing that wild. <laughs> Which I am very happy about because last part I don't know what was going on. From, from like gaming issues that I was not able to control or fix in time to upload that episode and to do the voiceover. To actually bugs that uh, like I don't know. Like I remember that back in the day I had a couple of issues with The Sims 3 including bugs and glitches, and I was not able to play that much because of that. But the truth is, back in the day, I used mods and CC. Um, so I always blame that for the bugs. I know some people didn't have mods or CC and they still had a couple of issues with their games. But in my case, I knew I had those installed in the game or whatever you want to call it, so I always blamed that and thought that was the reason, but on this save and during this let's play I don't have any mods or anything like that, it's just what you see, it's what you get. Oh no, <gasps> that seem just passed, what, what happened? Like, I wanted for Jim to plead the for her life to the Grim Reaper. Oh, there it is, the, the Grim Reaper. Oh. But, like, there are no options. She, I think she passed it of old age. Oh, no. This is actually very sad. All the Sims gather around and... Jim, Grim will do his work. Like, I keep trying to see if Jim can do anything about it, but there was no option. Now everyone is very sad. Oh. Like, it wasn't Jim's fault. The lady was in the water, but she was just, like, uh, barely <laughs> in the water. Now Grim's is in... Grim's is the one that is, like, down there in the water <laughs> but the lady was not that far away from the sand I don't understand why like I do believe it was old age and that make, makes sense that's one of the deaths in the sims franchise all the sims can pass from old age which okay they probably lived a good life <laughs> up till now but it's still sad. Now Grim is swimming, is very close to that lady on the water. I hope no one else dies. Like, this is actually the first time in this Let's Play that we see someone passing like that. And I don't know. But I was thinking that back in the day, even just with the Sims 3 base game, like sometimes my, the Sim that I was playing or the household that I was playing were having a party or something like that. And all of the sudden, someone would pass, Grim would come, obviously, and everyone would be sad, like all the Sims started to cry and the party was no longer fun. Anyway, <laughs> it's almost the end of Jim's uh, workday. And this was actually so sad. Like, I don't know, this Let's Play is taking a turn. But at least today there are no bugs, no glitches, and the quality is back to what it was back, uh, before last episode. Jim's workday is over, but I want for him to talk with other Sims before he goes home. Jim will just talk a little bit and then he goes home because his needs are not 
too great, his hunger is go is lower, his bladder, his hygiene, his fun. Don't let me don't get me started on his energy because he worked a little bit today. But I am a bit upset that the plead option was not available. Like, I do think it is available in all the franchise of The Sims. Because, like, at least in The Sims 4 you are able to do that. Maybe it is just because it was of old age that the lady passed away. Like, that would make sense. But it's still a bit upsetting, a bit sad. Because, uh, like, having a Sim as a lifeguard, you want for him to help everyone and to save everyone you want for everyone to be good and to have fun <laughs> and this is this wasn't fun at all like watching a sim passing away is not that great oh well oh jim is going to get um, the gem cut that i was talking about early on I really want to see how that turns out because I don't remember how it was back in the day in The Sims 3. And in The Sims 4 I did an, an entire uh, Let's Play with the Crystal Creations. It's my favorite pack of all time. There are so many possibilities. The Build and Buy mod is also very, very interesting. Everything looks very cute and it in my opinion, it complements other packs in The Sims 4. So now Jim is finally able to eat something. It's about time, like his hunger is very low. Also, it's almost time for Jim's birthday. It is in a couple of days. There are still days left until winter. So I hope Jim will master the lifeguard career before before winter, because I don't know how winter will be in Isla Paradiso, but I am assuming it will be very, very cold. Jim is already always complaining about how cold it is, how chill it is, so I don't think it's a good idea for him to be working during the winter time. I also wonder if he can take a break during winter time and then return to his last position <laughs> in his job or the last level in his career. I don't know if that is possible. It will be fun to test. And like I said, uh, the main goal for this Let's Play is just to complete the lifeguard career and the lifetime wish. And that part I can do a short if uh, everyone is interested in. But uh, I don't know. I want to explore more. And as I said uh, in the last episode, maybe next year I will do a different Let's Play in The Sims 3. Like I have, uh, I have bought a couple of expansion packs during the sale. Not just Island Paradise. I got uh, the Showtime. I got... Uh, seasons because I thought it was necessary to this let's play I got uh, I also got another one I know I have world adventures because I bought it when it was released and I have showtime seasons island paradise and there's another one that I have I don't know if it is generations or it is another one but yeah I don't remember which other expansion pack do I want of The Sims 3? But I know I have a couple of ones. And next year I might do something different. But uh, as I said before, I also love the, the Island Paradise pack so much. That uh, I want to do something next year in the beginning of the summer still with this. Because... This series is more about the lifeguard and everything related to the lifeguard 
but I want to do something different next year. Let me know if you have any suggestions, if there are any challenge or anything that you would like to see. Now, Jim is going to sleep and I will speed up this part right here. But yeah, let me know about that and I will see what I can do about I started this Let's Play in the summer, but it was not in the beginning of the summer. And then I wasn't able to do voiceovers during the month of September and October, a little bit. So that's why it's almost winter time and we are still having this, this Let's Play going on. Obviously... Other countries are going to summer, some of them, but Portugal is actually going to winter. We are mo almost in winter time, it's already cold, and around this time I'm not going that much to the beach or to areas like that. I don't also have the time, which is a shame because I actually really love like the ocean, like the summertime. And right now it's not it's not very welcoming. <laughs> the weather it's much colder. Sometimes it is raining and windy. At the same time, I miss the summer already. So, in a way, I am happy that I am still doing this let's play. But at the same time, I want to move on to a different one, and I want to do a Sims 4 let's play. Like I had a couple of ideas for the Life and Dead expansion pack that we got in The Sims 4. But to be completely honest, um, it's taken me a while to finish this one, this uh, Island Paradise Let's Play. I feel like uh, all I did since we got that um, expansion pack was build, was build stuff with the expansion pack and base game only. Which I love. I love to test and see what we can create. But at the same time, like, I don't know if I should do the Let's Play. Because, as I was saying, I consider myself more of a builder and not so much like a storyteller. I never get to try everything in a expansion pack if I don't do a Let's Play. <laughs> as funny as it is. And at the same time, I think it's kind of like a waste of money. Because I only build, build, build. It's something that I love and I love to share. I love to share in The Sims 4 gallery. I love to do all that. But at the same time, I'm not fully... Uh, experiencing the expansion pack or the pack itself. Jim is at level 4 in the cooking skill. Congratulations, Jim! At least he's not burning the houseboat down. <laughs> Later on, I will share with you something very special that has to do with episode 11. Uh, and I will share more details later on and I hope you can help me decide what to do next because now Jim has money and I think it's time maybe for him to go to a different uh, house or go to a different area in the island. I talked a little bit about this in the previously episode too but that episode is such a nightmare like I don't know <laughs> how... So many things went wrong in that one and so many bugs, I still not over it because, as I said, I don't have mods or anything like that. So it's confusing to me that that one went so bad, like even the quality of the episode doesn't match this one. So it was very strange. I think that episode was cursed for sure. <laughs> Jim needs to take care of the house a little bit, clean up a little bit. Today it's his day off, so we will do something different. Because I believe there's a couple of things that Jim didn't do at the Fall Festival. Fall Festival is still going on on Island Paradiso. So he needs to pay the bills and afterwards I want for him to watch TV a little bit to improve his fun. But at the same time, I am not worried about his fun because he is going to the fall festival, as I just said. And he will have fun there, hopefully. Hopefully everything will be all right. 
So he's now brushing his teeth because his hygiene was not um, too good, <laughs> but it wasn't enough for him to take a shower. So he will do just that. He's paying the bills. I am always concerned that I will forget for Jim to pay the bills. And then there's that uh, uh, man that collects like the most expensive things on the house. Like in The Sims 2, it, there was also... Oh, Jim got uh, a shiny emerald cut yellow sapphire from the jam cutter. I will show it in a second. Let's see, it's in his inventory. Like when you place it over the furniture, it actually looks very cool. The cut and everything looks very shiny. I am happy that Jim collected that stone and that he was able to get a gem cut. Maybe he will give it to someone special or maybe he will sell it later on. I don't really know, but I actually like how it looks. And I will place it in another area. It's good. It's different from the ones in The Sims 4 Crystal Creations. But then again, I don't believe in The Sims 3 we had any pack only related to crystals and uh, gemstones and stuff like that. Not like in The Sims 4 because we got... Like, we already got a couple of things in The in Sims 4 get to work. I believe, I believe it was Get to Work that had the science career. It was one of the first expansion packs, I believe. I might be wrong. <laughs> it has been a while. <laughs> but I do think it was that the Get to Work was the first expansion pack. And we get to have um, crystals and gemstones on that one. But later on, we got an entire uh, stuff pack only with the uh, crystal and so we have a lot more than we have here in the sims 3 but it's still funny still looks cute so now jim is at the fall festival i want him to see if he can redeem something from those stands and then i want for him to enter the challenge and to go on the haunted house because I don't think Jim was on the Houghton house before. So we will see about that. So Jim will get a couple of things from the festival redemption. But he doesn't have a lot of tickets to trade. And there are a couple of things that I want for him to do here. Like I think in another episode he was here but he was harvest pumpkins. <laughs> And I do believe he tried this contest, but today he will try again, go into the haunted house. He never, I don't think he ever entered the haunted house and he wants to be brave enough to go on the haunted house. So he will do that. Maybe take a greeting card photo and have his face painted too. Today he will not go harvest the pumpkins because I do remember that he already did that. So you'll see. Oh, it's about to start. Just Jim and another sim, another lady sim. Like, I wish there were more sims joining the contest. But it will be fun and we will get to see who wins. I hope Jim wins, obviously, <laughs> as always, but uh, let the best Sim win. Oh no, Jim actually lost. <laughs> I mean, he will be second because there are no one else doing the, the contest. But that, that lady was actually very fast and she won good for her. Congratulations to the lady. <laughs> but I am a bit sad that Jim didn't win. Again, there are a couple days left until winter. Maybe he will try again on another day. And we will see about that. But he works on weekends. And I am, I believe that during weekends are the most busy days. I don't know. I think it's so cool, the haunted house in The Sims 3. You can see the ghosts <laughs> animations going and flashlights and whatnot. I think it's it's very cool, like seeing the ghosts.
There's also eyes <laughs> popping from one of the windows. I think it's so cool, like the ghost said everything. So I saw a sim leaving the house and it is a ghost. And when I click it on Jim, like it's Jim. <laughs> Did Jim just pass it on the haunted house? Is that too scary? That he, he passed away from it to being too scary? There's a Frankenstein on the window on the second floor. Like, I don't know what to do. I kept trying things like he went again in the haunted house, which was probably not a good idea. <laughs> like, like I don't understand what, what happened to Jim. He can't die. He's still a ghost. Oh, no. <laughs> And he's shaking, like, did he pass away from the cold? Like, he, keep, he keeps saying that he's chill, it's cold. Was it the reason why he passed? Like, I am actually so sad if this is the end, because it doesn't make sense. I keep trying to see what I can do to revive Jim, because, no, he can't. He can't die like that, like in the haunted house, it can be. But he he's like a ghost. I think he hate too much pie too. I am very, very upset that th this might be the end. Oh no, but now there's a moodlet. There's a moodlet that looks a bit scary. Like it took me a, a little bit to look at those moodlets. And the first one says... Touched by a ghost, unlike angels, ghosts have a nasty touch that is cold and deep. When those icy fingers faced through the, the skin on Jim's arm, it felt like his bones were on fire from the hunted house. Okay, that's one thing. And says time left two hours. So there's hope. And then there's also the tiny ghost moodlet. So let's see what it says. So the tiny ghost moodlet says, Cursed by the witch. Oh, I'm telling you, this <laughs> let's play became cursed in the last episode. <laughs> Just kidding. But the moodlet says, Jim has heard of haunted houses, but this is ridiculous. Don't worry, the ghostly effects should disappear over time. And also says from Haunted House. But I am glad that everything will be back to normal very, very soon. So, so happy. He's back. Yes. But he, he it's not in time for the contest. He is taking a greeting card photo in the meantime. And I think he will get his face painted. Because, like, it takes a while to be able to get into the contests and... He was a ghost for too long, I guess. I wasn't sure about the pumpkin face uh, paint or the turkey one. He got the turkey one, but it actually looks a bit crazy. <laughs> it doesn't look the best as you are about to see, but that's, that's it. I will try for Jim to read him more festival tickets to see if he can get something else, but I don't think he... Did a lot of activities to get enough tickets. Like today. <laughs> I was so happy that today everything was went back to normal. And yet the fall festival was truly uh, scary. <laughs> this episode would be a good thing for Halloween. A shame it wasn't uploaded on Halloween. <laughs> but he will see what he can trade. Once again, he doesn't have a lot of festival tickets for the reasons that I just mentioned. But he will try to see. No, he can't get anything. So I think he will try the festival food. I think he will do just that. What a nightmare. <laughs> Lately, Jim's life has, hasn't been easy. I'm telling you, his life has been very chaotic and it's kind of crazy at the same time. So he will get something. So, because he is always cold and it's fall, I went for um, hot chocolate. But there are many options.
I love how it looks like the Starbucks coffee and he is drinking that. He's always getting phone calls, so he's not able to drink the hot chocolate anymore. Oh no, Lopita Alto wants to go on a date with Jimmy. He's like, hell no, <laughs> not doing that again. So I think it's time for Jim to go home. He has work tomorrow. There's another scene that said that they have a lot in common. But Jim is not looking for love right now. Today he's very tired probably and he is looking forward to go home as soon as possible. I will speed up this part right here and once Jim gets home he will take care of his needs, take care of a couple things in his houseboat. Oh, the taxi almost hit it, that lady. This episode has been wild. This episode was getting too long, so I decided to skip the night time. It's finally time for Jim to go to work again. I really hope he goes to the area across from his houseboat. Because that area, it's, it's so cool with the surfboards and all. Some days it's very chaotic, other days not so much. So I am always looking forward to see what happens, basically. <laughs> so he got there. For now, no one eats on that area, so Jim will survey the area as usual. Uh, once again, I will not use the lifeguard run, because every time there's an emergency, it actually looks like slow motion and Jim takes forever to get there. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like when no one is around, it's kind of funny to see Jim doing that. But once there's trouble, it takes too long <laughs> and it's not great. So when it comes to his career, I think it will take a, a while for him to get to level 10. He's in the beginning of level 9 and he's still a old, the old guard. And I think it will take a moment. He, it's also almost his birthday. It will be his birthday on a, on a few days. And finally we are getting sims in this area. So far there are only two sims in this area. And Jim is still running. I decided to let the camera like this because it's easier to see everyone else. And all the hidden areas because as I said a couple episodes ago, like the rocks on the, this area look so beautiful but they block the view when Jim is in a certain area oh no <laughs> a sim just collapsed on the sand and it's hard to see in some areas if there are sims in trouble in the water or in the sand so I decided to leave it this way I know it's a bit far away from the, the sand but I think it's the best option to see everything and to make sure that uh, James gets fast to the ones who need help. Now there are sims entering the water and let's see if any of them needs help. I really hope not because Jim is still trying to help the first sim that uh, needed help. But we will see. Like in this area, it seems like the water is not too shallow in the beginning. It seems like the moment they get into the water is already a bit deep. So I think it I think they might have a couple of issues here from the start. We will see about that. Jim now is talking to that scene. He's trying to improve his charisma skills still. But so far, nothing crazy is happening. Like, there are a couple of seams walking near to the water. And now I decided to let the camera be in this angle. So it's easier for me to see everything. And if anyone needs help, Jim can run over there. But so far, so good. No, nothing crazy, really. 
at this moment, so Jim is working on his charisma skills still. And we will see about that. <laughs> because I think Jim has rescued that scene other time in a different beach um, a couple episodes ago. I believe I have a screenshot that uh, I posted on the YouTube community tab a few weeks ago. <laughs> and it was that sim that Jim is talking about that needed help <laughs> back in the day. And the fog is back. You can see sometimes it looks like smoke, but it's not really. It's fog and he can talk with, about the fog with the other sims. Like, again, it's fall... Winter winter will be in a couple of days, so I think that's the the issue. That's why we are getting so many fog <laughs> in this episode. But you can still see everything, like it it doesn't prevent you from seeing the seams on the sand, on the water. You can tell the ones that need help or don't. It's more so like, it looks like a bit mysterious, I would say. <laughs> but Sims are still able to do whatever they want to. And Jim is finally done talking to that Sim. He will survey the area. Oh no, there's a Sim on the water that needs help. <laughs> Never mind, Jim needs to run to that Sim. But the fog seems like it's it's getting it's more intense, it's what what I wanted to say. And Jim is already in the water. He's almost there. I don't know if this sim will need CPR since Jim um, took a bit longer to get there. Jim made more money. He actually has a decent amount of money now. I still don't know what I am about to do regarding Jim's house situation, if he should move to a different house or different area. And in the next day, I will show you why I am a bit uh, confused <laughs> about this part. But right now that Jim said, thanks for rescuing me. No one else is in trouble. Like, everything looks fine. There's a mermaid in the water. Everything looks fine. Even with the fog, there are still many sims on the sand. Relaxing, some are reading, some are playing in the water. It looks like they are having fun. Still. <laughs> in real life, I don't like to go to the beach when it's fog. And weather is like this. Yeah, for me, it's a bit strange, <laughs> actually. But here they are. They are having fun. They seem to be enjoying the the day. It seems like a lot of the Sims are actually leaving. Just when I said that, <laughs> but some are still here. Some are still in the water, in the shallow part of the water. But as I said, it seems like the moment they start to swim, it's no longer very shallow in this area. Like in sparkling sand, it seems like it takes a long time for them to go to a, a non-shallow area. And here it's different. Now more sims are leaving. I think there's only one sim left in this area. Gym workday is also almost over. So we will see about that. But I think today Jim only rescued one sim on the sand and one on the water. Which is not very good for his lifetime wish. There are still a couple of sims that he needs to rescue from the water. To complete that goal. 
Oh, no, now there's another scene. There's another playing on the water. Jim is done for today, so he is going back home. Jim is already changing his outfit to the winter outfit. It means that it's very cold right now in the island. This episode was getting too long, so I decided to skip the night time. We'll finally go to the surprise that I have for you. As I said many times since the beginning of this Let's Play, I did not own Island Paradise back in the day and I also didn't play much Sims 3 in general back in the day. A couple episodes ago, the mayor of Island Paradise gave Jim the key to the city, which at the time I thought it was some kind of reward, yes, which at the time I was like, good, <laughs> Jim has been working really hard, so this was very cool, the reward, but I had no idea what K to the city meant, I thought it was like the key to the city has in the key that opens doors, I guess, <laughs> which I know in some towns, like when someone does something very important, something huge, the mayor gives the key. And in this case, it's K. <laughs> it's completely different. And from my research, it's actually an island. So Jim actually has an island now. <laughs> <laughs> that I had no idea about and this happened because uh, Jim rescued 35 drowning sims in the lifeguard career or profession so it was huge and I had no idea about this <laughs> so in this part Jim is actually going to travel to his own island, his own private island, which I think it's very, very cool. <laughs> it's so nice that Jim got this. And there are actually other hidden islands and uh, it has to do with other parts of the Island Paradise expansion pack. We will not explore that on this Let's Play. We will just explore the one that Jim got and see what we can do with that. And I think it's very interesting. And you can also click on real estate and you can do things with the, the island. Obviously, it's not a very big island, but it's still very cute in my opinion. And it's very good that Jim now owns it. That's one of the reasons why I was saying that I don't know if Jim should move to a different house in the main land, <laughs> I guess, or if he should build something on that island and move there, or keep his houseboat as a second house. I don't know. There are a couple of uh, things that you can do, because in the Sims 3 Island Paradise you can actually own more than one house, and so I don't know what to do, really. I don't know if Sh Jim should just move to the island, if he can uh, build something there, we will see about that. But right now he will take a look at the island and we can see there are a mailbox and uh, a trash can here already. <laughs> so I think it means that you can do something, but at the same time, Time, I don't know exactly what to do because like it's very small. I don't know if I should build just like a tiny house for Jim sometime go on vacation here. I think that I wanted to see in The Sims 3 was the build sandcastle options. From my understanding in The Sims 4 there are only three options in here. The more you build the more options it shows up. I will show you just this one <laughs> so it's not too long because I was playing with this uh, option for a long time. There's also a wildflower and then there's an activity that I really wanted to see Jim do which is the windsurfing. I think it's very cool. In The Sims 4 I don't remember if we have that or not and you can see also the waves in the ocean which in the other parts of the island you can't see like that way. So I think it was a good thing that Jim got and he will have a lot of fun. I just don't know if he should move here or if he should stay in his houseboat or bring his houseboat here because obviously it is a houseboat, you can move it around. He had done it once in the beginning of this Let's Play. 
so I really don't know what to do in this department. Jim is very stinky, but we will go for the windsurfing anyway, and then he will go home. But I really want to see how this looks like. Oh, it is so cool, so nice. I love to see him doing windsurf. And I am glad that I am able to do this before the Let's Play ends. I believe we only have two or three episodes left. It depends on how fast Jim will get to level 10 his life, in his lifeguard career and if he is able to complete his lifetime wish. I really hope he does, but we will see about that. So far, I love to see him doing this and he will go home. So that's actually it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like and share and I will see you in the next one.